And we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the... Uh, well, that's a heck of a start right there. So, trying to get myself situated. Trying to get uh, everything going here. But, uh, uh, let's see. I'm got, oh, yeah. I'm going to make sure that, that is away. So, we can tell the difference between the two teams. And this is, of course, the annual... Uh, cancer awareness uh, game where I designed a couple of uh, two all-star teams uh, and play, uh, played out here uh, and of course uh, this is uh, the confessions of hockey fanatic live here on twitch.tv slash hockey night 1921 or if you're watching on my regular uh, YouTube channel you can see it there at confessions of a hockey fanatic uh, of course it can it is also uh, broadcast live here on uh, uh, the uh, uh, confessions of a hockey F uh, fanatic website uh, via a little uh, cut out uh, camera of course that's uh, uh, sent there as well so if you want to go out to uh, uh, the I believe that uh, one is uh, hockeyfan at blogspot.com so uh, whenever I go live on that uh, website or on uh, Twitch, it's right there. So, of course, this is the annual uh, pink game, uh, and uh, these two teams are uh, displayed in uh, uh, pink uniforms so that we can uh, talk a little bit more about... Uh, uh, let me get this uh, set up so I can actually see the chat room. And everything like that, so... Oh, I'm going to mute that. Okay. Alrighty, so... Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's see. Uh, now, of course, I'm, I'm going to go with... Uh, as I did a couple uh, years ago, I'm going to uh, play the uh, CPU game against uh, CPU, just so I don't favor anybody. This is going to be some uh, all-star teams, and this year I've done a little bit something new, something a little bit different, and I've added uh, a uh, few uh, all-time all-star with uh, uh, Mario Lemieux being the uh, captain here on uh, Team uh, Pittsburgh All-Stars, and there is... Uh, well, that's uh, Johnny T, uh, John uh, Tavares, uh, the captain uh, there for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But uh, uh, you'll probably notice that uh, Tim Horton is on the uh, uh, Toronto All-Stars as well. So we're going to uh, go through that there and click ready and start the game. So there you go, Connor McDavid, my boy Connor. And some uh, chill. Cool looking pose, I guess. And, uh, of course, I designed all the rinks and all the lights and everything like that to be also uh, pink, so you can think. Uh, think and there's uh, Frederick Anderson, the current goaltender of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Matt Murray. Now this year, I, I do believe uh, this year is in Toronto, or well, at least at a, a, a facsimile of a Toronto rink here. So I keep that going live and well. Trying to alternate uh, year, so like next year for 2020, we'll uh, put it back into Pittsburgh there. So oh, there we go. See there's. Tim, uh, the late Tim Horton. I don't know, maybe I should have chosen uh, somebody else from uh, Toronto to uh, play into this uh, game here, but well, I, I thought it, it lends a, a very uh, fantasy type of uh, situation here. Especially, oh, there we go. Already, Pittsburgh's off to a great start there. Look at that. I think uh, Jake Gensel. Gensylvania. Gensylvania! Jake you know, gets a score and a first goal of the game here for the Pittsburgh All-Stars here in our pink game. Should we get it right to the front of that and boom. Score. Right there. Yeah, I, I think these uh you know these uh, jerseys really 
turned out well today. I think he, uh, they do show up uh, here for the uh, All-Star, uh, both on both teams here. Oh, there we go, and Toronto gets it right back. Nylander with a nice uh, shove there. A shovel. Picks up the uh, loose rebound and puts it right past the goalie there. Look at that, he shoots it. Gets it, shoot, gets it, and shovels it. Picks up probably snow and all. Just scooped it right up there. Boop, right there, goal. And we're already off to the races here, ladies and gentlemen, in Toronto for the annual pink game. So I want to thank uh, all of you watching here on uh, on TV, uh, as well as on uh, Twitch.tv, as well as uh, the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic YouTube page. Oh. Oh, interception. Got a nice shot there, trying to attempt. So with putting uh, Lemieux on this all-star team here, uh, it's also somewhat downgraded Crosby. There we go. Oh. Boom. Is that, yep, was that Crosby? Yeah, that looked like Sidney. Yep, Sidney Crosby. I was just about to say that he was uh, down, well, uh, downgraded to the second line there, second line center. Just amassed a wealth of amazing talent here in Pittsburgh, and there's so many great players to put on the Pittsburgh uniform, as well as the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf uh, uniform as well. But you can uh, tell that. They are in, uh, indeed stacked with talent. Deep, deep, deep with talent. I think uh, if it wasn't for, I guess, a little bit of uh, work around, I think uh, Malkin probably would have been the either the third or the fourth uh, uh, line centerman. So they're still so deep with uh, centerman talent uh, over the years. Of course, the All-Stars got a two-to-one uh, two lead here. Still early in the first... Uh, okay. So Riley, his round, Spiza, former Ottawa Senator, former uh, Dallas Star, signing a pre-agent contract this spring with uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And nobody passed it here. Walking up alongside there. Yeah, see, they, they seem to want to set up along the boards there and then uh, hope for a pass in the slot that uh, gets somebody uh, quickly, catches everybody not paying attention. But there's Chris Tang skating around somebody's helmet. Oh, there we go. There's another goal by is that uh, by Schultz. Yep, Justin Schultz. Nice little laser beam just boom. So from like, I don't know how the, uh, far that's at least 20 feet. So I'm like, I'm just, yeah, just right by him, doesn't even see it. Gets so lucky. So we, we need to get uh, Marner involved. We need to get uh, Johnny T involved here. We, need, uh, we, we definitely need to get uh, some of these guys for Toronto involved here before uh, the... Uh, Pittsburgh All-Stars take this over. So I'm just watching here as uh, a couple of years ago, I uh, decided to put it on uh, computer versus computer so as to not, uh, I guess, take sides. Because I'd, I'd want, because this is being just a uh, simulation. This is just an exhibition here. Just uh, for fun, trying to uh, get out the 
uh, I guess rally for those uh, suffering of uh, breast cancer. It's uh, being October, the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Of course, couldn't already tell. Yeah, I'm already from Pittsburgh, but this is their breast cancer awareness cap. I like that. It's got the pink brim there, but I'm also in my uh, pink uh, jersey. You know, I pick hockey jersey as well, so. So we got uh, Sam Kapanen. That's Sammy. I'm sorry, that's uh, that's his dad. Oh, there we go. Finally got some Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews, the new pride and uh, of Toronto. Doing so well in uh, his Toronto debut and uh, moving on, trying to get uh, Toronto past the first round of the playoffs. Hopefully not uh, letting them leave early like they uh, they have been trying to put together a championship team. Riley. Gasperi Kepanen, that's his name. Oh, intercepted. Gautier, the goat. A give and go there. Nice. So it's turned out to be a pretty good uh, hockey game so far, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to go pretty much down to the wire. I, I tried and get them as even as I can, especially uh, now that if you if you make a uh, team uh, out of just uh, you know, designing jerseys and every oh there we go didn't caught him sleeping on that one. Is, who is that? Is it uh, Aston Reese? Or is it, no, that's Sam Poulin, uh, one of the rookies that was sent back to the. And yeah, that I guess that was uh, what I was just leading up to. That the when you create a, a new team and design their jerseys like I did here, you can uh, insert uh, any player you want onto the roster, even you know, create players. But then uh, I had to get it up underneath the. Salary cap, uh, putting some of these big stars on like uh, Lemieux and uh, Tim Horton, like that they push things over the salary cap. So I had to uh, adjust a few things and put some, uh, some guys on there that are, uh, you know, uh, down there in salary. So and putting some of the uh, rookies that uh, did pretty well during uh, training camp, like uh, Sam Poulain. Of the, uh, I think, um, Sherbrooke, uh, or not Sherbrooke, uh, maybe they're, uh, the uh, Phoenix of the Quebec Major Junior League was uh, sent back, to, I guess, to uh, learn a little bit more in the juniors before he can uh, come up and be a rookie here for the Pittsburgh Penguins. But almost here with... Alrighty, that should be the end of the first. Do you know oh, man, even, even the rink, is, I, I even designed the rink to be pink. I think it really turned out really well here. Of course, we're all here uh, supporting Breast Cancer Awareness Month for the month of October. And of course, uh, guys, uh, get yourselves checked out as well because. Uh, gynecomastia is a serious thing as well, and uh, men uh, can uh, you know, die from it too without uh, early uh, checking and uh, early diagnosis. And there's uh, you know, fa uh, the hardening of uh, fatty tissue and the you know, with the obesity getting you know, bigger and bigger, uh, so that you need to, and uh, a lot more people have been. A lot more guys have been a little bit 
uh, trending towards uh, you know the type of uh, breast cancer and things like that so but uh, ladies out there uh, if you're 40 and over go get yourselves checked uh, of course uh, and then uh, talk to your daughters and uh, talk to your uh, uh, other uh, kids and you know, to let them know about uh, the early signs of uh, let me see if we can get uh, some of the stuff on here So is that breast cancer is the most common cancer in American women except for skin cancers. There are 3.5 million breast cancer survivors in the United States. On average, every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States. Female breast cancer represents 15.2 of all new uh, cancer cases in uh, the United States. I'm getting this uh, from the... Uh, uh, so, you know, breast cancer facts from uh, the uh, nationalbreastcancer.org. So uh, we'll uh, continue on here with the second period. Uh, let's see what we have here. Total shots uh, running. About, everything's running about even, just as I, I thought. The face-offs uh, are pretty even there, and that's again probably a, a lot better considering if I were playing in this game here. So. Uh, yeah, the, even though the score is a little bit lopsided, at least the stats here are pretty much even. So we're going to resume here. trying to get another one in the slot there. Oh, gets his own rebound. Pushes it out to Letang. Got to Schultz. And Anderson covers it up. There he is. Looking, I think he might be the MVP of this game here. Johnny T. Islander, see what uh, maybe we can get some. Tim, oh. somewhat of a weak shot, but I was able to see that. And of course, back in his day, they didn't play with helmets, so his uh, representation here in the game is also without a helmet. He's allowed. He's allowed. He can. <laughs> He's been grandfathered in. And of course, he also played for the Pittsburgh Penguins for a couple of years, uh, even then before uh, playing for the uh, Detroit uh, Red Wings organization in, uh, I guess, the you know, Pittsburgh Cornets. He uh, played a few years in uh, Pittsburgh then as well. So uh, I guess uh, there is a, a, a little bit of a connection between uh, Tim Horton and uh, the Pittsburgh area as he has uh, played a couple years uh, for both the AHL and NHL levels here in Pittsburgh. But the majority of his time spent in the NHL was either with uh, Toronto or the Rangers. I do believe he also spent time uh, in uh, Buffalo with the Buffalo Sabres uh, uh, in the latter uh, stages of his career. But uh, uh, he's very... Very uh, special guy, a special player, and of course leads a uh, legacy with uh, the uh, Tim Horton Foundation and uh, doing um, a lot of good things. And his the the business that he left behind with the donut shop and everything, uh, he uh, of course you know, is an, you know, a big uh, you know, influence on uh, hockey today with uh, having a lot of kids. Uh, 
you know, going up through the ranks and being little, uh, little Tim Bits and stuff like that. And of course, uh, Sidney Crosby and uh, 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 does that along with it down there. So, let's see what, oh, there we go. Uh, we do have uh, so many stuff. Uh, uh, yes, it is. Uh, well, let's speaking of Buffalo Sabers and uh, yeah, let's get, uh, go uh, Buffalo. He was just talking about uh, Sabers and how uh, they, uh, Tim Horton had uh, been playing with, uh, for a couple of years uh, before he uh, passed away there. Uh, but um, yeah, this is the game. I, I designed these uniforms here to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, cancer awareness. Uh, game as well and I'm throwing out uh, a little bit uh, okay uh, so out of the 62% uh, of breast cancer cases are diagnosed at a localized stage for which the five-year survival rate is 99% uh, this year an estimated 41,760 women will uh, pass away from breast cancer in the United States it's way too many and of course uh, we uh, we need to find a cure soon so uh, if you're out there and watching this either on the uh, you know, live feed or on the uh, uh, replay here on my uh, YouTube channel please uh, you know, uh, don't be afraid to uh, you know, get out get the word out there to uh, uh, ladies get yourselves checked and uh, guys to you know, follow up and uh, perhaps even uh, rally around those and oh, there we go there's another Johnny T goal Johnny T getting involved there yes yeah, so keeping uh, keeping it close keeping it close trying to keep this in in the Toronto All-Stars game and, uh, versus the uh, Pittsburgh All-Stars Well, of course, I designed all, uh, these uniforms myself, so I thought they they look nice, don't they, uh, uh, Buffalo? I do appreciate you uh, coming by here and uh, checking things out and everything, so. Uh, oh. Just need, uh, another goal or two to get from the uh, Maple Leafs alumna, uh, all-stars here. Crosby back here to his buddy Latang. Another shot there, and I think I think Anderson's coming into his zone here. Of course, uh, he's uh, seeing the puck a lot better, and he's uh, trying to uh, grab it a lot quicker and not trying to let uh, second and third ones uh, get by him here. So. But, uh, Trying to keep them in the, try and keep uh, the uh, Toronto All Stars in the game here, so we don't want to get it. Even though this is just a exhibition here, we're not trying to take sides. That's why the uh, game is uh, quite. Oh, it looks like somebody looked like somebody was hurt there skating. Uh, taking off uh, kind of gingerly there. I don't know if that's a injured player or what. So. Yeah, so and that uh, is looked at one of the other facts that uh, one in eight women in the United States will develop breast cancer in her lifetime. Yep, that was a an injured player there. It looks like uh, uh, Zaitsev or not Zaitsev, uh, uh, I really don't I remember how to pronounce that uh, name though, but. Ooh, run the guy over. Way to go, Peterson. Just let, let uh, Toronto just completely uh, run into your goalie like that. That's good job, everybody. Good job. Uh, ooh, look at that. All right, get him back. That's, that's the way to get him back. Throw a shoulder into him. Boom.
One minute left in the second period. That could have been that could have been tragic there for Toronto All-Stars. That was right on the doorstep. Looks like the time almost ran out. Yeah, that was at uh, Makai to get uh, hit like that. We'll Skate it off gingerly. I don't know if he's going to come back for the third period. As we look uh, here at the stats of the uh, second period, uh, of course, there haven't been any penalties. Uh, of course, this is an all-star game, so naturally the all-star game usually doesn't have any penalties. Everybody's uh, well, well behaved. So, we'll look out here to, I guess, the... Time on attack looks about even, with even along with the hits there. But we are uh, Pittsburgh ha does have the lead, uh, four to three, and of course um, uh, it's just another, I, I guess, a cancer fact. In uh, 2019, an estimated 268,600 uh, new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women in the U.S., as well as 62,930 new cases of non-invasive uh, uh, breast cancer. So. so. Uh, this uh, early for talk about some of the uh, early uh, symptoms and signs I guess uh, would be uh, many breast cancer sy symptoms are invisible and not noticeable without professional screening but some uh, symptoms uh, can be caught on just as uh, being uh, proactive uh, About uh, keep well, this is uh, know the symptoms. Yeah. Every uh, person should know the symptoms and signs of breast cancer. And any time an abnormality is discovered, it should be investigated by a healthcare professional. Those people who have uh, breast cancer symptoms and signs will initially notice only uh, one or two, and the presence of these symptoms and signs do not automatically mean that you have breast cancer. Uh, but by performing monthly uh, uh, breast uh, self-exams, you will be able to more easily identify any changes in uh, your breast. Be sure to uh, talk to your healthcare professional uh, if you notice anything unusual. Let's go back here onto some of the other pages. So I'm kind of talking about uh, different uh, cysts and uh, talk about. Uh, and uh, I know that uh, it is a very difficult thing to talk about, uh, given that uh, I know a lot of uh, there are some people in my family that have uh, you know, had scares with cancer, and I know a lot of uh, other uh, folks that uh, you know have uh, lost loved ones and uh, due to cancer. And of course, that's uh, t always a terrible, ter terrible thing. So. Uh, as we uh, go and uh, make these rallies for the October uh, breast cancer awareness, we try and uh, make sure that uh, people get out the word to uh, continue to uh, uh, donate to those uh, cancer charities, those reputable cancer charities, and uh, those people trying to do uh, the Lord's work, I guess, uh, trying to get... I find a cure for one day we can uh, cure all forms of cancer, not just uh, for uh, uh, the upper body or maybe the lower body or lungs or head or brain or uh, other uh, types of uh, tissues. So we're going to start the uh, third period here with the Pittsburgh All-Stars trying for
Uh, hopefully uh, we can keep this a four to three game or they can try to at least uh, ward off. So I'm sure uh, Toronto is going to try and come back once again and get that fourth goal and try and tie this up to make this really competitive. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's a penalty there. That's not going to help Toronto's case there. Jake. Toronto's Jake gets uh, called for two minutes for hooking. Yep, that looks like a hook. That definitely looked like a hook. Slowing it down here, slowing it down, trying to get that, trying to keep it uh, calm and win another face off and get it out of the zone. Yeah, look at Malala Tang. Really brave there with that trying to skate into the zone like that. Usually the uh, NHL, uh, like in real life, they'll they'll try and uh, do some kind of trick play where most uh, you know they'll try and do this real complicated passing play to get into the zone. And go uh, unabated and try and you know, block, uh, break up some of that 1-3-1 uh, defense that a lot of teams play now because it's uh, Matthews so we've seen uh, well, look at that big hit there. So we've you know, seen both uh, Austin Matthews and Johnny T get into the game here. We've seen Mario uh, being the all-time all-star here for uh, Team uh, Pittsburgh All-Stars. Look at that, the, the way that Pittsburgh's just keeping it in the Toronto zone there. We've got yeah, great job. I think I think the power play should be over by now. I pulled up some videos for you. Okay. And even though it looks like they're <laughs> yeah, it's 5-1-5, five five, and yet it still looks like uh, you know, Pittsburgh's on the power play there, keeping it in the zone like that, but they need Mitch, yeah, they need Mitch here to step up, they need uh, Johnny T to step up, uh, Toronto's Jake, and Jake Muzzin to uh, step up here. Chop him up. Took his legs out from under him. Lafferty. Pride of Holiday's Berkeley. Look at that. Wow, another nice shot. Pittsburgh. Peterson. Good goal there. We'll just. Lops it. Unfortunately, Anderson can't do anything about it.
And there you go. Okay, there we go. We're getting uh, Martin Marinson to get a shot in there. He he gets uh, seen on the in the game. He gets active. He gets a shot on goal there. Hornquist. What's he gonna do with the puck? Oh, Austin Matthews. Sammy. Oh, it's not Sam. <laughs> I keep confusing him with his dad. It's not. Uh, it's not Sammy Kapanen. That's Gaspari Kapanen. Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. Whoop, almost. And to think, uh, Sammy. Uh, we had Sammy Kapanen on our team for a while. We had to. Whoa! Oh my. Goodness, that, that came so close to getting on going in there. Right off the post. And, oh. Malkin. How could you miss it? That wide open net like that and hit it off the side of them. I guess it's not, uh, like just it's just another shot on net to keep the things going here. Don't really uh, want to... It called for anything to, to stop the clock here. There we go. I want to really run up the score on them. It all is just for fun. But, oh well. Looks like Russ is going to finish it off here with the empty net goal. Boom. There we go. All star school scored by number seventeen, Brian Rush, assisted by number four, Justin Schultz. Oh, almost a well, there. Let's see if see if Toronto can make it uh maybe Make it close. See if maybe they can get, just get at least one in here before the end of the clock. No, not quite. But that's about it. I guess uh, when you have Mary Lemieux, one of the best players in the game of all time, on your team there, it, uh, it does come in handy. So, got a team uh, Pittsburgh All Stars uh, win it this year in. The uh, Toronto rink here and with everything pink. Uh, pink the rink here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Confessions of a Hockey Fanatic Game of the Week here. And closing out the October Game of the Week with our annual uh, paint the, uh, you know, the pink game with the uh, Toronto and Pittsburgh All-Stars. So the final score, 6-3. to three. Of course, uh, Nylander had a nice goal. Yeah, Plan Schultz, I got it. Wow, that's I. I wouldn't exactly. Well, what's the computer doing? <laughs> it's selecting those three guys. I wouldn't exactly uh, make uh, Justin Schultz the. I guess did he did he get the game winner? I guess. Hmm. I have to go back and look, but. Only had the one penalty there. We had uh, some nice, uh, really crisp passing in there. We got uh, that was running about even. The time on attack, time in the zone, like that, it was running about even. The hits were running about even. So total shots were running about even. Faceoffs a little bit, a little bit off balance towards uh, Toronto side, but you know about three or four, uh, four more uh, effort. You know that's. Decent, decent effort. Uh, the teams were uh, well balanced, well matched, and everything. So uh, that was a pretty good uh, game there. So, uh, so yeah, I did uh, share some uh, statistics here with the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and of course, I want to keep uh, all of you in my thoughts and prayers as we uh, continue on with uh, uh, trying to find a cure for the uh, you know, breast cancer and uh, other cancer. Uh, related uh, causes so uh, please uh, consider uh, giving some 
uh, you know, donations uh, during this month or just about any month. Uh, we're, of course, going to be thinking about a lot of guys and a lot of other uh, men-related uh, uh, cancers uh, coming up in November. I think there's a like, no-shave November. You want to uh, get involved with that. Uh, but, uh, yep, I think that just about does it. So, uh, so of course, uh, for those of you uh, watching uh, here live on Twitch.tv, uh, just stick around here. I'm going to be coming back in a few minutes, and I'm going to uh, uh, make sure that uh, I'll have some extra, extra stuff uh, coming up here that's only exclusive to uh, Twitch.tv. But for those of you watching uh, later on for the upload uh, to uh, YouTube, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. And, of course, uh, if you want to uh, see your favorite team featured here on the Game of the Week on Confessions of Hockey Fanatic, uh, please leave a comment down below and uh, let me know if you uh, want your team featured in the uh, Game of the Week. Yeah, so, uh, yep, I'll just see you next Wednesday. Bye, everyone.